Hi guys and Happy New Year for 2018. Uh, it's been a little while between videos, I apologise for that. It's just been a busy time with work and family and yeah, it's been a been a great Christmas and just started back at work so I thought I'd um, do a video and show you what I've been up to in the shed in my uh, very little spare time lately. Alright, let's have a look. So... The, um, uh, I just wanted to say also welcome to my new subscribers to the channel. Thanks for joining in and yeah, hope you enjoy your time. Uh, yeah, so the just a bit of an overview um, for people just joining us. I've got the 48 volt life before system here. Got the 16 100 amp hour cells and 16 60 amp hour cells in parallel. I've made a few little changes to the system. Uh, put a um, HRC fuse on the 60 amp hour pack. Uh, I put a switch on the Watchmon so I can turn the Watchmon on and off easily. Uh, the biggest change I've made is connecting the shunt trip. Uh, that's uh, added a big level of safety to the system. Uh, so it turns off automatically in under and over voltage situations, which is great because I was really having to babysit the system a lot before. Um, yeah, I've just rearranged things on the board here a little bit. It's not pretty. There's there's some cables, um, long cables there. I just didn't want to cut the cables on the inverter, so I've just um, strung them up there. Uh, the 10,000 litre water tank on the other side of this shed wall is empty currently. Um, so the water pump is, hasn't been running, which is my biggest load on the system. So basically it's, the system's just running the chest freezer and all my 18650 charging and some other small loads in the shed here. Uh, so... Yeah, to the people on the Second Life Storage um, website, thanks thanks a lot guys for your help with, um, I was trying to sort out the Wi-Fi on this computer, I've got the Wi-Fi dongle, I haven't set it up yet but that's arrived. So yeah, we're at 39% state of charge. Just a quick question for any of you guys that have the Batrium, I've noticed some of you have the kilowatt hour counter I'm just wondering why I don't have that is there is it um, I thought I had the latest software but maybe not yeah if anyone could fill me in on that that'd be great uh, yeah so 39% there I've had the solar off for uh, three or four days now so um, haven't needed to to um, charge the system because the pump hasn't been running all right so that's basically that it's just running flawlessly this whole system it's fairly basic but it, it's just working great these batteries are awesome um, I still have the three 12 volt 60 amp hour packs here not really sure exactly what I'm doing with those I'd love to get my hands on another one so I could uh, add them into the system over there but anyway um, what I'm up to just here I sort of bring you in on um, I made this little 4S uh, 3P lithium ion phosphate pack using recycled um, 18650 cells from actually one of these it's a drill I have but uh, this I got this pack from somewhere else. It's actually one of these packs here the cells are from. Uh, it says nanophosphate lithium ion. Um, yeah, so I got one of these packs, opened it up. The cells were all covered in oil. There must have been some oil that got into the pack, uh, but it doesn't appear to have got into the positive end or under the sleeves of any of the cells, so I think they're fine. Um, I put them in this little um, little box here, which is pretty cool. Uh, put a USB 
double USB there, got a voltage meter, just a little switch on the side which turns them both on. I've got a um, BMS, it's a 100 amp uh, BMS which is massive overkill but I had the BMS anyway so I thought I'd attach that. I've still got charging wires, there's an XT60 down there for charging and the balance port there for charging with the iMax but at this point in time I'm just charging with the iMax on the nickel metal setting just straight into the power. It's got an XT60 coming out here at the moment but it will have a DC jack with a little rubber, rubber plug. Uh, I've ordered that, it's on its way from China so that'll arrive in a couple of weeks probably. Uh, so yeah, I'm just playing around testing this BMS. Um, I will attempt to just plug this capacity checker in here and see where the cells are at. One using one hand. There we go. Go to life. 3.49, 3.5, Yeah, so they're all staying really nicely balanced. The cells. Um, yeah, it's just basically a test to see where the BMS is cutting off. It cut off around 2. Point, the lower cell was around 2.2 .2 volts. Um, the BMS actually shut it down. I was just charging my tablet. I've been charging my phone and tablet on this. So I shall maybe I'll probably do another little follow-up video um, just to keep this one short on on how that's going. But yeah, it's a neat little pack. Um, yeah. Uh, so just a quick quick video, quick update guys to say hello and uh, thanks for joining me. Alright, take care, bye.